Well, back in 2009, our customer at NASA came to us and they were very concerned about capturing knowledge with the more experienced uh, technicians that we have working there. And you know, once those people are gone, all that experience leaves with them. So as a result, we talked to them and decided that one of the best ways to capture that knowledge was to start an apprenticeship program. We have started at NASA to lose a lot of our talent through retirement. The skills are very unique to NASA, and really the best way to get those skills is to make them. Um, I wanted to learn some things that nobody could take away from me, that I always had. I could go anywhere and feel comfortable that I'd be able to get a job. The thing about the program that's really nice is, is there were so many people that just, they were really passionate about what they do. For them to just see someone that enjoys learning what they're passionate about, the sky really was the limit. They, were, they would really teach you and help you and uh, give you so much. You don't have to have a heavy mechanical background to start this. They come here and they learn. They learn a lot of different things. Um, different mentors will teach you to research what you're doing before you do it. You're going to go through a lot of training, so there's nothing that you're just going to get blindsided with. It's a period of 8,000 hours, which ends up being four years. And throughout those four years, the apprentices get to rotate every six months with a different mentor or a group of mentors or a different test facility. There was new challenges, new people, new environments. It was literally like showing up to a new job every single day. Um, so it was like a fresh start all over again. But as you progress through the program, you start building the confidence because even though things are different, there's a, there's a common ground to how you do things. There's a method to the madness. I got to tear down two different satellite thrusters that are over a million dollars and fit in the palm of your hand. Most of our research goes to the International Space Station. Uh, we will test out Sapphire program, which is burning fluids, burning fiber, stuff like that. Every day you get to go in and you get to drop something 430 feet. You just don't do that elsewhere. There was welding, there was machining, there was tube bending, pneumatics, hydraulics. I worked in the clean room some. So um, there was a, just a variety of things that we had to learn and it was all done Monday through Friday. Um, eight hours a day, just hands-on training, working underneath a guy that has been working for 20, 30, some guys out here 40 years. I didn't grow up in the greatest of areas. I didn't go to the greatest of schools. I actually dropped out of school. But for a lot of people, I show that like it's never too late to make a change, and um, I have a wonderful life now because of the opportunity. When, when Jeff gave me the job, it changed my life because I was working at a job, and I wasn't making a whole lot, but it was the stress level, everything was different. It was chaotic, and um, this gave me a newfound stability for sure. Apprentices come in and literally have changed their lives. What it's meant is we have uh, some really, really good people that have excellent skills and are coming out of this program. And our hope is that we can continue to feed this program and have graduates that basically become the next generation of workforce at NASA Glenn Research Center. This program is really an excellent opportunity for the right candidate. We're looking for someone that has the right attitude and the aptitude to learn. Experience has shown that those who have a good attitude, have a real desire to learn, those are the ones that do the best with this program.